Okay, we are live. Let me know if you can hear me and see me. We'll get started here right away. Oh, man. And yeah, we got lots of people rolling in. Okay. Oh, there we go. David is on the call from El Paso. Len Will. There we go, David. Roll tide roll. Robert, Joyce, Murray. All the way from Tirana. We are testing um, Easy Webinar once again. Um, how clear is my video? The video is clear, and that is one of the reasons why we're using Easy Webinar and not uh, um, Demio. Mm -hmm. Very clear, very clear. Coffee? <laughs> Dick is on the call. Maria's here. Steven's here. Within a couple minutes, we will be full, and those that are coming in late will be catching the replay. And we've got lots that are going to be from the other side of the pond. So they will be catching the replay for sure. We had a lot of people register. We're just minutes away from being totally full now. Arthur from Orlando. Larry. Oh, boy. Let's have some fun today. Let's try and have some fun. Uh, let me see. Naples, Florida. It's late in the day and Maddie is sleeping. That's right. Well, it's 8 o'clock in the evening. I certainly hope he isn't sleeping, but you never know. You never know. Let's take a look here. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah, there you go. Oh, yeah, you can see those right there. Oh, that's funny. Wendy. Yeah, Dick, all by myself. All by myself. We'll hopefully get uh, Matthew on a couple of the webinars, but it's going to be um, 8 o'clock his time. Nah, I'm sure we'll get him on, on a couple of the webinars. Anyway, let's get rolling. It's uh, recording anyway, so let me share my screen and let's get rolling. And you can let me know if this is all nice and clear as well. Is that clear? Okay, I don't have to make that screen size. I wonder if I should make that smaller. No, it looks pretty clear. It's easy enough to read even the fine print there. Yeah, yeah, we're good. Okay, so we're going to cover um, the basic setup today. And then I am going to finish off the setup over the weekend. And then on Monday, we're going to uh, start to analyze uh, ads. We're going to start to scale. We're going to do da daily management over uh, the five-day period. So each one of those calls will be nice and short. They'll be about 15 minutes just to show you what we do to um, see what's working, what isn't working. Uh, see what some of our uh, options are in Etsy. 
to scale winners and and what we should do to, to stay safe and have profitable campaigns. We're going to show you what we would go through. And in general, we like to follow things and test things for about a week and then move on. So the, the three things that are always going to, and you know, it doesn't matter which platform you're on, the, the three elements are basically design, um, products, and your pricing. And we need to find out which design is working, which is the best product that it's selling on, and which is the best price point. And I'll show you how we split test all of this, and we do it all at the same time. We're testing uh, uh, the design, we're testing to see which is the best product and which is the pr best price point. So we go through this, it takes a, about a week, like I said, then we can actually make a decision and um, we can fine tune things over a week. And by that time, we should be up and running with a profitable campaign. Uh, what happened to last Thursday's webinar? I do not know. We had six webinars scheduled. We had six webinars. They should all be posted. Okay, let's take a look. Everybody wants to know how do I find a winning design? Uh, we're going to be using Renegade Lids. This is a demo store for physical products. And you'll be able to follow along and see how many sales we have before we upload these designs and how many we have after. We'll show you the back end so that you can see exactly what's happening. Uh, nothing on this store is hidden other than the banking information. So we will be using this store. You can bookmark this. It's just uh, Renegade Lids, one word, on Etsy. And let's get rolling. The biggest question, the very first thing to address is finding a winning design. And how do we find one without a designer? How do we find some designs that we can test to see if they're going to be winners? We need to, we need to have uh, um, something that basically is already a winner. Anyway, I'm going to show you exactly what we're going to do in this example. And I'll show you exactly um, what the campaigns are going to look like. Um, this next week, we're going to be doing two things. We're going to be riding with Biden, and we're going to be jumping on the Trump train all aboard. Anyway, we're going to do two campaigns for uh, Biden-Harris, uh, and we're going to do two campaigns for Trump-Pence. And all we really care about is which one makes the most money. If I got a Trump design that's that's biting the, the dust, I'm going to kill that campaign in a heartbeat. If uh, if I'm riding with Biden and he's making, I'm only riding with Biden if he's making sales, just like I'm only on the Trump train if I'm making sales. We're going to do both. And then you will actually get to see, you know, leave your, your um, political opinions behind if possible. Of course, we always have our own opinions, but if you can stomach um, marketing Trump stuff and you hate him, that's fine as long as you uh, are interested in making money. And same thing for those that can't stand uh, Joe Biden and his hairy legs. Who cares? If he makes us a boatload of money, I'm riding with Biden. I'm voting for Joe. No, I'm a Canadian. I'm not voting for any of those characters. Uh, they're all weird characters. So anyway, we need to find some designs. And what we're going to do in the store, we haven't used this design. Actually, I think maybe it was put on a mug. Uh, but anyway, we're going to use one of our own designs because we already have some of the assets for that. And we're also um, taking a look at finding a winning Trump design. Uh, which won't be very difficult. And then we're actually going to run two uh, Biden designs that I've already bought. But I'm going to show you how we find them. And we do all of the finding right here on Etsy. So 
um, what we want to do is, is find a winner and then check to make sure that the license allows us to put it on our own product. So if I go and you won't have a hard time finding a winning Trump design, here's what we're looking for. I just go Trump PNG. It's going to come up and all we're looking for are the best sellers. These meet a certain criteria and it means that there's already commercial viability attached to this design. People are already opening their wallets to buy this design. And human nature is if somebody will wants to buy this design as a PNG to put on their own t-shirt at home or on a mug or whatever, there's a pretty good chance that people would want to buy that t-shirt or that mug. That is the assumption. And in our experience, this is quite uh, consistent. If it's selling well on Etsy as a PNG, it will most likely sell well on your products. So the big secret is very simple. We just go and find best sellers. And of course, with Trump, uh, you'll have no problem finding best sellers. I just start right at the top. And the only thing I look for is if it's an ad, I may go after it. I may not. It doesn't really matter if it's an ad or not. The fact is, it is a best seller. People are opening their wallets to buy this design. Uh, the second one here is a best seller. And like I said, you're going to find an endless supply of best sellers in the Trump world. In the Biden world, not so much. We have to look a little bit closer, but we would do the same thing for Second Amendment or anything that's uh, got a whole bunch of redneck hillbillies that are passionate about their niche. So you got a whole bunch of gun-loving Americans who love their Second Amendment, and you will find a lot of bestsellers in that niche. Some niches, not so much. Uh, and let's see, this is an ad. It's still very valid. People are still buying it. This is an ad. People are still buying it. Uh, like I said, you know, I don't know that I would ever wear a shirt like this. Or, the, well, maybe this. Actually, that's not a bad design, really. Uh, anyway, these are ads. We can carry on. There's Trump in the, the shape of the flag. Uh, there's Trump make America great again. Uh, here's the, the Trump with the, the skull. I don't know what the official name for that is. Uh, here's the, the Trump label. Uh, impeach this, of course. That's going to be a big seller. Uh, best sellers are all over the place. You don't have to look far. They're very cheap. What we have to do is we have to take a look at their license. I won't click on this one because they're running an ad and that would cost some money. So let's just go and take a look at this one. It's important to uh, verify the license. And let's take a look here. Uh, please do not resell the designs on any merchandise items. They're strictly for personal use. Good enough. I respect what they have to say, and I just get rid of that one. Oh, got another sale. Uh, let's take a look at this one. And because there's a lot of winning designs, all I have to do is just keep going through here and just take a look. Commercial use. All files are for, for both personal and professional use. The sale or distribution of any of them is not allowed, but the sale of physical products from them or their use on websites or mobile applications is allowed. Uh, this is not for mass producing the image itself, but it is for us for small business. Uh, let me see. Uh, the use of our designs is directed as direct competition with our store is not allowed. The copying. Okay, this one looks like uh, the license allows us. Sometimes they'll have a commercial license here. Sometimes they'll have different levels of commercial. So they'll have personal They'll have commercial small volume, and then they'll have the unlimited commercial. You pay a little bit more, but I do that. I like to respect their um, their products and, and their work and their ownership. 
anyway, this is the simple, simple way. Let's just take a look and see what this one says for its license. Can be used as a silhouette, studio, cricket. Uh, um, not to be resold as a digital file. Commercial use is okay. Okay, yeah, we're good. If you want this uh, rude and crude design, it looks like it's good to go. Good to go. God bless Trump. God bless America. And Joe Biden. And Harris. And Pence. This is where we do our testing. It's cheaper than going out and hiring a designer. It's cheaper than going out and buying a design. This is $1.70. I'm able to test this design for $1.70. I'm able to test this for 270. I'm not worried about how many people are actually selling this. I don't care. I'm going to be running ads and I'll get my fair share at the, the top of the listings. I'll get my impressions. I'll get my clicks. I'll get my sales. Does this always work? Not every design works. Does this system of finding the winners work every time? Yes, the system works every time not each individual design. Just because it's a bestseller doesn't mean it's going to work, but following our method here will ensure that you do have success. Going into Christmas, we want to have lots of success. You've got uh, a good two weeks, and then we're going to be moving right into the main marketing season. You see this, um, I'm actually just going to finish up some more photos on this one, but you guys can see the, uh, let me just cancel the screen share here for one second. Okay, and I'll just grab these. That's just a sublimated slate. Let's see if it's going to focus. We took the photos. It's personalized. Whoop, it's personalized right here. And that is a Printec product. Uh, you can go on their site. Remember, it's free to set up a Printec account. And it is a really nice product. It is solid slate. Make sure you don't drop that thing because it will break. And we use Printec for a number of reasons. And I would say the biggest reason is not price and it's not customer support and all of that stuff. They're, a lot of companies are, are good at that. Where Printec has been shining is in fast delivery. And that is what that puppy looks like. It's got the, I forget what they call it, like Gorilla Glass or something. Anyway, it's custom image upload. And then we also have, let me see if I can reach this bad boy. Then this oversized glass cutting board now, they are breakable, but they apparently break into pieces that aren't razor sharp or whatever. Anyway, personalized. Oh, personalized. I'll point to the right area. Uh, these are big. Uh, our cutting boards are a big deal at Christmas and for Mother's Day. And, of course, something like this for Valentine's Day. It's a very thoughtful gift. It's got this little wavy glass on here. I don't know what the deal is there. But anyway, this, because it's sublimated from the back, that means that you can cut on this all day long. This is a very usable cutting board uh, where the wood is not necessarily so usable. Anyway, that's what it looks like. I think that uh, Printec has some of the coolest products out there. They actually, I've got just a pile of their products. I, we've been doing the photography on things like the uh, humidor. Let's see. Everybody's seen the humidor. Oh, you got to love that. It's the cedar, and it, it smells so great. This is a very rich product. I need to clean that. Look at all the fingerprints. Anyway. Getting past that, we're using Printec for everything that we're selling in the store. Like I said, they do a great job, just like uh, other companies, but they are very, very fast. Dick, I can vote. 
It just doesn't count because I just vote in my mind. Yeah, the slate is really, really nice. Uh, can that one run through the dishwasher? I would think so. It's made out of that Gorilla Glass. I don't even know the properties of it, but it's really uh, awesome. Oh, okay. Michael brings up a valid point. Some of the Printex stuff is expensive. Yes, some is. Uh, previously, it was called Printex. Now they've changed it to Printech. Anyway, I'll, I'll get you a link there. Um, if you want to set up the, the account there is, is free and they integrate with Etsy. So it is really, really brilliant. They've got a, the paid app so that for $10, it will automatically pick up the orders and auto fulfill and ship them. So, uh, we've got a couple stores. We run four stores and they are set up to auto fulfill. And that is just a really great, uh, way of doing things. You may have seen a lot of our personalized uh, Trump mugs. And if somebody puts their name in to be personalized, it just shoots it straight through to Printex. So we, we never have to touch those. Uh, will it be recorded for later viewing? Yes, we will definitely do that. Okay, let me see. The cutting board mock-ups. Yes, they are just being finished now. Etsy is price sensitive. Oh, boy. Dick. I've got to tell you, that is so untrue. Etsy is the least price sensitive platform I have ever worked on. Um, oh, yeah, good. Dick actually meant, uh, I meant not price sensitive. Thank you very much. Because remember my example of the cutting board? $17.95 for a, a maple cutting board uh, with uh, personalized, with the engraving, and free shipping at $17.95. We couldn't sell that. Uh, we ended up selling one of them, and then what we did is we raised the price to $60 plus $10 for shipping, so $70, and we just could hardly keep up with the sales. So I don't know who spends 70 bucks on a maple cutting board i know a lot of people do apparently but hey then again you got people that spend 30 bucks on a mug i go buy a funny mug at the dollar store actually i've got a whole bunch of dollar store mugs here they cost me a dollar but people have no problem spending 25 or 30 bucks for an 11 ounce mug not even a 15 an 11 Yes, very, very funny. Anyway, let's take a look at our designs, and I am going to get back to sharing my screen. We're going to create basic listings today. We're going to get on this right now, and we are going to create basic listings, and we're not going to waste a lot of time. I'll, I'll show you a few things here. Um, this is more of the, of course, we're using photorealistic mock-ups. They convert like mad on a platform like Etsy. I don't know if it would make a, a difference on Shopify, but it makes a huge difference on, on a platform like Etsy. They like the photorealistic, the, the you know, background, have some context. They, they absolutely love this stuff. So we're going to be creating some of these, but it... it Initially, it's not a big deal. We're going to try and keep things real simple. And then we're going to create, you'll see I've got a Trump mock-up here. And then I've got a Biden mock-up. And it's going to look something like this. I'll just give you an example of what we'll do. But we don't have to do this um, right away. This, this can wait. I'll show you exactly what we're going to do. And let's just size this down a little bit. This is what it will end up looking like, you know, when we get serious about things. And then I'll even put, you know, why do we put a design on the hat, even though we're not selling a hat? It's just so that it's sort of over the top for Biden or Trump. It's just the, the realistic embroidery. And then, of course, we do the same thing um, with slap some funny design on here for for the Biden lovers 
let's just throw this one. Let's just see what that looks like. Yeah. And then we would throw, uh, let's see. Yeah, I did a hat. I know for Biden, it doesn't have the quite the same impact visually. But hey, if they're Biden lovers, we throw the little thing on the hat. It just makes it stand out a little bit. We like to have the human element, or we like to have other images, uh, flowers, or or uh, green grass, or bridges, or uh, you'll see some of our mock-ups. The reason we do that is it fits the Etsy model, and it gives a little bit more context. People can see the size. It creates more emotion. You know, uh, let me show you what we're going to be doing here. Um, well, let's see. I will just, let me just open one of these. Yeah, we can actually, let's just bring in some, uh, this one here, simple. We're going to do uh, the start of, um, for the initial product, we're just going to use mugs. And then, of course, we'll just drag our designs in to create our listings. And like I said, I've got these two that we're going to use uh, for riding with Biden. It's going to end up looking like that. You've got colors in the background. It's It's got the, the blur. The mug really stands out. It creates a little bit more emotion and more of a feeling compared to a white mug on a white background slapped on the store. We just have increased our conversions dramatically by using this type of a look. Uh, let me show you for the, the mugs, we would also use something like, uh, today we're just going to use uh, the very, very basic ones. Uh, let's just grab this one here. And then, of course, we would put uh, whatever we want on there. We like to use the large image initially and then use the smaller images um, as part of the listing. So this one would look something like this, and I'd position it probably about there. That just gives more of a, a positive feeling around the mug. And like I said, in our testing, there is no contest when it comes to uh, conversions. No, no contest at all. Anyway, we've got some mock-ups here. We're going to create the listings now. And like I said, we will get into uh, creating some better looking. Like if we see something is really taking off, then we'll put the time into it. We're not going to put a lot of time in until we find out which design is working and which product is working. Then we'll make the mock-ups look a little bit better. Right now, we're just going to slap a design on a mug and we're going to see how fast we can set up designs and have ads running. So today is all about the setup. So let's get rolling with the setup. I'll quickly take a couple questions and then we are going to jump right in. Yeah, I'm going to show you one of the, we'll upload one of these with a, a video so you can just see what kind of videos we create. You can make your, your own videos uh, if you like. Um, I'm not sure if they convert any better, but we know that Etsy definitely loves uh, putting videos in. They have incentives and the whole bit. Okay. <coughs> Let me see. Printec does not have hats. Where do you get them? Um, hats, quite, um, quite simply, you can just go to Custom Cat or you can go to Printful. Custom Cat does a really nice job on the hats too. Uh, and... Uh, they charge you, I think, $6.50 to digitize the file the first time. So Custom Cat uh, definitely uh, works really well. Okay, let me see. Do you have the design on both sides of the mug? By default, Printec uh, prints on both sides of the mug. They just duplicate the design. You can actually submit to design A and design B if you want a different design on the front and the back of the mug. Uh, someone bought two masks and paid $50. They live in Canada. 
Well, they are crazy Canadians if they spend $50. But God bless Canada. Uh, where are they located? I don't know what that means. Custom Cat just integrated with Etsy, but I don't know about the personalization side of it. Well, that's good. If they've got some non-personalized products and you want to use Custom Cat, knock yourself out. We use Printec because they ship fast. Every product sold in here has come from Printec, and that is part of the reason why in all four of our stores, we don't have anything less than five-star ratings. Actually, that's not true. I think it's now been about a month ago or maybe even a little bit longer. Uh, we actually had someone give us a four-star, and I have no idea why they gave us a four-star. I think it was their issue, but anyway, we had it fixed. Uh, let's see. Okay, let me see. Yeah, if you bought our mock-up and video and design pack, then yeah, the videos are all in there. Uh, let me see. How's Printex shipping to Canada? I don't know. The crazy Canadians that were buying from us. Um, they all got there in time. Custom Cat is in uh, Detroit, Michigan. Uh, let me see. How fast is Printec? Uh, we set our, our processing time to three to five days, and I think most of the time we're ahead of schedule. So, Is it true Etsy is killing stores that don't declare Printec as a partner? It could be. I don't know. We've never listed a, a partner. But, um, you know, they do require that you list a partner, so it doesn't hurt just list whoever's doing the production uh it could be printech it could be custom cat whoever your production partners are it's it's not really a big deal anyway let's get rolling here we're going to create one listing i don't need to go through it four times because there will be a recording let's just create one listing and then you can um create your own listings if you have your own mock-ups um, and we'll show you exactly what, uh, oh, hang on. I didn't go in here to show you uh, Biden. And here you can see that there's 4,322 results for Trump. And then if we actually go Biden, we'll see that there's a total of 800 results. Uh, and then um, we can, this is the one I bought. It was the first one that was a bestseller. So I bought this one. And then they have, a, this one is a bestseller. Oh, I'm riding with Biden. So they've got three. Uh, let me see. They have four, but that's the same design. I think the one was in it. So four... Now, I don't trust myself in picking something that's going to work. That's why I use this method. And even though there's not a lot of designs or a lot of uh, commercial interest for Biden, we thought it might be nice to compare the two so that we can actually see what's working and make a decision from there. So anyway, there are some for Biden. You just have to look. They're few and far between. But you will find them if you want to promote uh, Biden. Okay, anyway, we're going to go into Etsy. We're going to create a very, very basic listing. So I'm going to click on Add a Listing. Now, you'll see you've got all of these thumbnails. To get started, when we're testing, all you need to do is just throw in one. And let me see, do I actually have... Oh, I don't even have that design on the mug. Just... Give me one second. Let's just quickly create that one. Uh, let's do this. Let's open this up and let's grab. Um, well, let's grab this one. Uh, that one looks good. And then let's just put that to design on there. When we do the call on Monday, we'll be showing you 
uh, how we created all four of these designs and the products and the, the pricing. Like I said, we'll follow through every day so that you can see exactly what's uh, happening. And I'm just going to size this so that it looks somewhat realistic. And I think that I'll go right about there. I think that looks pretty good. Okay, let's save this one. And let's save this as main. It's just going to be a JPEG. Oh, hang on. First of all, I have to, I just realized I might have to, uh, where are we? Image size. Oh yeah, we're fine. You can't be over 10 megabytes or whatever. So uh, let's see, let's save this one. And I'll just call it, I'm just going to call it Snowflake, and it is just going to be a regular JPEG. So this is the image that I'm going to go with. And let's go and create our listing. Let's add that image. So let's find where we have that image. And there it is. Now you can go crazy and you should have all 10 thumbnails put in here right now because I'm running ads. So if they see this and they want the mug, they can buy the mug. Now, when it comes to a video, if you bought our mock-up sets or whatever, or if you make your own videos, this is where you add it. And I'll just throw this one in because I had some time. So I just threw the design on here. And the, the video is beta, it's optional, it's five to 15 seconds. Is it gonna make more sales? I don't know. I mean, it's a bit of a dumb video, but you know, hey, people buy with the eye, so. I don't know if it's a super compelling video or anything. I just made it in my garage, or as they would say in the UK, in their garage. I like those crazy buggers. They're all right. Okay, so I've got an image and a video. If you don't have a video, just skip the video. Now, the title. Initially, I'm basically just doing a little bit of... Now, you can research and find the best title and spend a bit bunch of time. We really don't need to. We just need to make a listing that Etsy is going to understand. So that they need to understand what we're selling. So I would call this thing, the main words would be, oh, it would be something like that. Trump 2020. Um, now you'll see that um, you'll see that I'm always trying to be very descriptive in each little segment here. It's very descriptive that it's related to Trump. Uh, let me see. Coffee cup. It's already a coffee mug. Trump 2020. I'll put in. And then I'll do um, something like this. Uh, I'll just go Trump. And then I'll do something like uh, Trump. Uh, I'll do something like um, Okay, so every one of these little segments is all, it's Trump, 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 everything has Trump in it. I want Etsy to know that I'm selling something that's Trump. Okay, so who made it? Um, 
I did, or of course, if you've got another partner in there, you'd say another company did. What is it? It's a finished product. When did you make it? Made to order. It's pretty simple. The category, all we're going to do is put in coffee mug. This is going to come up. I'm going to just click on that one. Uh, ceramic. Good enough. Uh, graphic is going to be politics and elections. Capacity is a wonderful 15 fluid ounces. It's ounces in America. Does it have a handle? Yes. Is it enamel? No, I don't think so, no. Is it insulated? No. Is a dishwasher safe? I think they are, sure. Microwave safe? Sure. I mean, I put mine in there. You could check with the, the maker. Primary color is white. Secondary color, celebration, occasion. Ah, we just leave it. Renewal. Yeah, every time you sell one, they charge you 20 cents and leave it at, at that. It's a physical product. Now we need the description. Now we can go over the top with the description, but we can also make that description very, very simple. Here is the title. So I am going to start with this. I'll optimize this up a little bit more, but this is what we do. We always put that in and then we go uh, 15 ounce white ceramic coffee mug. And then you could put things in if you want to get all fancy. And let me see. Then I do something like this. Offer to make uh, promise to make your buying experience um, as pleasant as possible. It's not much of a promise. If you have questions or need something customized please please message us cool add a new production partner you can if you want to you're supposed to just add print tag. buyers can request customization not sure if they want something customized they might say hey could you do this yeah sure uh, put it into a section so mine here will be political mugs. If you don't have one, you'll see that down here it says add a section. You can just add one there. It just keeps things organized. Now, tags are optional, but tags are very important. Okay, so we're just going to go right here. We're going to grab this bad boy. We're going to paste that in. We're going to go up here. Whoops. And we're going to grab this. I know it's very, very basic, but it works. We don't have to overthink it. It just works. Uh, oh, hang on. I forgot to put this in. There we go. Let's grab this. Sometimes you might go over the number of characters, and that is okay. So, so far, so good. 
And let's put this one in. They allow you 13. You really don't need to put in 13 to start with because oh, we're going to be running ads, so we're not really all that concerned about optimizing this or ah, the ads convert and they're they're very very cheap so okay president trump trump gift let's just slap this in it's very very simple trump christmas gift we already got trump gift Let's throw this in and see if we're over our 20 characters. Oh, there you go. We made it. Etsy certainly knows what this listing is all about, that it's very related to Trump. Okay, so the price. Um, the price, uh, what do we charge? Like uh, 20 bucks for the 15 ounce? I'm going to say that I have 999 of these in stock. Put in the SKU if you're going through a Printec or somebody else. If you're doing it manually and you need that, there it is. Variations. Uh, this is just a 15-ounce mug. Okay, now fixed price. Uh, $4.95 domestic, three to five days. Yeah, that's good. Okay, item weight is optional, optional. The United States total is $24.95. Now we have attached a coupon code to it. Yes, advertise this listing. Yeah, that is it. So here's what I'm going to do. Of course, I'm going to hit uh, publish. And then I'm going to go into my listings. And, or sorry, I'm going to go to marketing. And I'm just going to quickly go here to sales and coupons to make sure that I have my ongoing coupon code happening. And it is this one. And I'm going to edit my listings. And I'm going to find this one here, which was the political mug. And there it is. So I'm going to hit save changes. And that just applies the 20% the to it. So if I actually go now to my listings, and we'll see exactly what this listing looks like. Uh, there we go right there. Anyway, let's go into the store. Uh, let me just go here. And let's go and take a look at this listing so we can see exactly what it looks like. It was a political mug. And let's see. That is not it. Oh. Did I not put that in as a political mug? Let me just take a look here. I thought I did have it under that section. Where was that? Title, graphic capacity. Is it down here more? Oh, there it was. Yeah, political mugs. Oh, well, maybe it just hasn't uh, hasn't hit yet. Ah, uh, yeah. Sometimes that's gonna happen. Unless, did I miss it? No, because it used that. This one was already up here, and we're just looking for the other listing. Oh, maybe it's taking a second. Do I have to refresh it? Normally, it's a lot faster than that. It should come right up. But it's not. So let me just try this here. Oh, hang on. No, it's still not showing up. Let me just go back and we'll just take a look at this one right here.
view your listing. Okay, so this is what the listing looks like. And really all it has is the, the thumbnail and it has the video and that's what the video looks like. So nothing, nothing crazy or special, very, very simple description. Took us a couple minutes to, to make this thing. The ads are turned on and that is your basic listing. The video just loops. So that's the, the mug, that's a video. You don't need the video, don't worry about it. If you don't have video or you can't make your own video, no big deal. Now, I'm gonna take some questions and then we're going to wrap up. Uh, why don't I use the Printec description? Um, I don't use the Printec description because I want it to be my own. I want things to be much more unique. Uh, let me see. I'll go back. There's a few. Uh, let me see. Uh, Custom CAD just started Etsy and it's not bug proof yet. Uh, yeah, that's correct. Um, orders take three weeks. You know, that's in general why we don't use Custom CAD. That's why we use Printec. They get it out instead of three weeks. They get it out in three days. Uh, do Printec and Etsy work well enough on mobile to run this strictly from my phone? Yeah, I think so. I check it out on my phone. It looks just wonderful. Uh, next question. Damn lightning, Florida. So use forward slashes as opposed to dashes. I don't think that makes any difference. I just did it to separate it. I don't know if anyone is any better than the other. Is there a way to close the chat so the screen can be larger? I don't know about that. See what I can do for the next one. Okay, do you do all your ads or a VA? These ads, I already did the ads. There isn't anything to do in the ads. The ad is already, let's, let's go and take a look. Um, let's go in and let's just take a look. You'll see the, the ad is, is uh, running. If I, um, let me see if I go to listings again and I go in to this listing. Uh, let me just go down right to the very bottom. It's by default. It says, yes, advertise this listing. Well, that's good. And then if we go here to marketing and we go here to Etsy ads, manage your budget. Okay, the minimum is a dollar. My maximum is 125. If you want to spend ten dollars a day, just put ten bucks in here or one dollar and manage your advertised listings. Anything with a check mark is live. Anything that you don't want to have running as an ad, just uncheck it. I keep this one checked because this one's selling. This one's selling. This one. The pets that, uh, chickens, the pets that poop breakfast. Don't ask me why people like to buy that one, but they do. Anyway, that's is that's the whole ad system. Manage your budget. Put 10 bucks or five bucks. Um, and select which ones you want turned on. That's it. That's just a check mark. I didn't even cover that because it's so simple as long as they're it's turned on by default. So anyway, that's exactly what it looks like. It's as simple as can be. Now let's see. Why is that thing not showing up in here? Still not showing up. I don't know. I have no idea. But anyway, uh, we did see exactly what it looked like. I think it's a, a decent looking um listing 
I'm pretty sure that it'll make sales because like I said, it's really not a uh, rocket science. It's very simple. Watch a video again. It probably takes like three or four minutes to make a listing. Nothing fancy. Uh, let's see. Yes, I will increase the screen size. Actually, let me just try. No, I'm not going to mess it up here right now, but I'll change the aspect ratio on here so it'll be much larger on the next one. Where will we find the replays? We're going to mail the, the replay links out, and they're all going to be hosted on YouTube as a private uh, playlist. So if you miss a day, you can just go and check the next day and catch up. It'll, it'll be interesting. You'll get to see exactly how much time we put in, and you'll see that there's no uh, real magic in putting together a listing that's going to sell. It, there really isn't a lot of magic there. Oh, and I see these prices are twenty fifty. I should actually change that. I should change that because otherwise I will probably forget. And if this thing's sitting here, why will we have one mug that's selling for less? And there we go. View your listing. And let's see what we actually have. Oh, you guys want to see that video again, huh? Whoa. Actually, let me see. I think that if you go like this, you can play the video. Massive. Whoa. Did Etsy reduce the price to 16 What price? To $16. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah. Because I've got a 20% uh, coupon code, so it'll end up being $16. Okay. Did you buy blank products from Printec to create your mock-ups? Yeah. Yeah, we, we picked up the products, and then, of course, uh, we did our own photography, and, of course, we have the big mock-up pack and all that stuff, but we're not going to talk about that on this call because we said we're not here to sell anything. So do we have uh, do we have design packs, uh, like presidential design packs? Yes, we do, but we said we weren't going to make this a sales call, so I'm not even going to tell you where you can buy it. Uh, let's see. Do Printec and Etsy work well enough? We got that one. Uh, did you say custom cap or cab with a french with a french accent no custom cat custom cat one word just like marley my cat imagine a custom cat let me see aren't you doing this webinar to teach us oh, i thought so yeah well, i'm not sure was I not? Okay, let me see. Uh, Rick, yeah, we do have um, faith packs there as well. Uh, we'll try and get the links for another day just so that we can actually keep this one, not a sales call. Printec is the best by far. Yes. Are you selling more 15 or 11s? Oh, we sell way more 15s. Those Americans love big coffee mugs. I myself, I'm an 11 ouncer. But those Americans, they love the 15s. We have increased sales substantially by offering a 15. Oh, Ernie said I learned stuff today. Oh, okay. Patsy said you taught me a lot. I don't know what the other dude was saying, but anyway. Okay. Wow. There you go. Excellent. Well, we've got it all covered then. Uh, let me see. Some people are... Yeah, you got it. Excellent. Hey, it was great having you here. Um, we will make sure that the replay is out. We'll make sure that you get everything that you need. Um, you know, we will try and... and set something up so that if you need help, you get stuck, that uh, we can actually maybe 
give you access to some of the training videos we already have. Uh, we'll try and, and get you the, the link. I don't have it for our support desk. But Matthew will dig that up. We'll get it on, on the next call. And if there's anything that we can do to help you, you can just leave us uh, a message and we'll make sure that we actually, if we don't have a video already made that covers that area, we'll make sure that uh, we make a video to, to cover that one. Uh, the webinars are Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. They are all at uh, 3 p.m. Eastern time, and it is the same link that you use to get to this call is the same one that you'll use for the next five calls. Uh, let me see. Is Etsy your best uh, storefront? Oh, we are using nothing but Etsy. Nothing but Etsy. They have built-in traffic. No matter, no matter how many ads we run, Etsy is still sending us more buyers than our ads are sending us. We are about 53% on average of all sales come organically from just Etsy sending the traffic. Anyway, that's it. Have yourselves a, a great weekend, and we'll try and get a whole bunch of things set up for you. And hopefully you can see how we actually optimize these, manage them, and make them profitable. Anyway, that's it. Have yourselves a, a great weekend, and we will see you Monday, same time, same place. Take care.